Hey, yo, 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 it's your boy. How you doing, guys? Terminator. Steve here from Thrive for Life as well. Um, I thought we would start something really uh, cool, um, as you probably have seen Patrick's introductory video of him now at Thrive for Life and how he, he was talking about his upcoming bodybuilding competition, which is in Vegas in November in 2020. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to um, have a bit of a blog, um, an update on Patrick's progress as he gets closer to the date. So Patrick, um, what is the plan, buddy? Because I know bodybuilding, I've done a couple myself. I know it's quite a big um, sort of sacrifice and commitment. But, uh, Tell me how you plan to... Yeah, the, the, um, the good thing is like I got like a year, almost a year to like really, like really prepare myself well. So like, yeah, I gotta focus on my weakest point. That, that, those are my, my legs and like, yeah, calves. Uh, the good thing is like I got like um, almost a year to really like prepare. So yeah, I gotta focus on my weakest point, legs. So quads, hamstrings, and calves. Yeah, I gotta like, I think, train three times a week, legs. Yep. So really like, yeah, keep more attention on the, on the legs. Like, yeah, grow bigger legs, and like, yeah, go and smash everybody up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, what we, that's what I'm aiming to do now, yeah. yeah. Also, like with, with one year to go, right? That's yeah. quite, quite a long way, right? Yeah. So maybe have a bit of a, like tell everybody how it actually works in terms of um, you know you don't have to go real strict on your dieting now yeah, yeah. you know it's more maybe the last sort of you know three three, three four three months, four months. Yeah. yeah 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 great so, so what are you doing with your nutrition and what do you, well, what do you plan to do with the, the food side of stuff in, in between yeah right now I'm almost like yeah trying to leave, eat everything I like but like yeah really like taking care of it as well so like yeah I eat a lot but like no junk food so yeah it's more about like rice chicken veggies and other stuff but like more so yeah just to like grow more and then in the last four three four months i'm gonna start cutting a little bit and then it all depends like oh i'm gonna look within four or five months yeah so like from there we start we start seeing what we're gonna do yeah and have you um ha obviously you would know who your competition is and and who you've got to, um, to beat? Like, have you be sussed yeah, out? Um, maybe, uh, I think I'm probably gonna like meet some guys I met in Melbourne. Because in, uh, in September this year, uh, yeah, I competed in, uh, in the World Championship in Melbourne and I placed third. Yep. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to like, yeah, go get my, my first place back. So, because, yeah, I don't think, uh, I think I got like the, um, the best upper body in the in the industry for the moment so yeah i gotta like focus on my on, on my lower body yeah and yeah okay and then when you're in italy how did you get to world number one in under 30 and under 85 kilos so how did you get there what what was the journey like for you yeah it was uh i was training a lot i wasn't even thinking to get into bodybuilding there was a friend of mine i used to train with and was like hey, just give it a try and like yeah, actually I started working on my legs this January. The the competition was in May. My first that, that was my first competition. Like I started like really training legs, so that's why it's my weakest point because I've I've never like really trained them seriously like I'm doing now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I got into it and like it was amazing. It's it's so amazing like being on stage showing off like your your hard work. People like, yeah, liking what they see and all that stuff. It's really amazing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've done a couple of bodybuilding competitions myself, and uh, the one thing I really liked about my competitions was doing it with, with people that are my friends. Um, so we're, we're all in the trenches together um, through the hard times and the good times. Uh, so, how. Who have you met in the industry so far, and who's who's been like your biggest inspiration to yeah, do it? My biggest inspiration ever is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm never trying to. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like him, yeah. but like it, it really keeps me motivated from where he started. He started really young. I think he was 16 years old, something like that. Yeah. And like without like 
my state he wanted like to win everything and he came up as the big, the biggest bodybuilder ever and like so far I've met like Ulysses and Kwame Dwa is like Australian as well and like they really like keeping me inspired to do this thing so yeah I'm not saying I'm trying to like be like them or something like that but like yeah uh, I, I, I want what they achieve so like I'm going for it yeah. I'm really going for it no matter what yeah great when you talk about like you know, comparing yourself to others it's probably the, the, work, the last thing you actually want to do in bodybuilding because you know everybody looks good you know on stage yeah. I mean you know they're there in their own right and they've worked hard um, and it's usually that sort of mind games that plays in the, in the in the backstage when you see other people there and they're all you know looking fantastic and you're thinking geez am I, am I looking that good you start to se sort of second guess yourself a little bit yeah. um but i guess you know like, yeah. the, the biggest thing is just to worry about yeah. your own yourself, self and, yeah, yeah. and your own journey because yeah. um you know you that's start, that's all you've got you, you know what i mean start, like, you think from where you started from where you are and where you go where you want to be that's it Just you yourself there's nobody else yeah, like it's good to have some inspiration motivation as well but like yeah at the end of the day you all you got so like yeah just work on yourself as hard as you can and like you can achieve whatever we're going to keep updates coming so we're going to do some workout videos and just progress towards patrick's big event in november next year so yeah. mate all the best buddy yeah, let's do it eh? legs killing we're gonna kill them legs man all right awesome. see ya yeah.